Welcome back to Off Grid Roadrunner Ranch. This week we're finishing up our framing, then we're going to put on our zip sheeting to weatherproof our home. Now, as I finish up the framing on this window here, I want to go over why we chose to do 2x6 framing everywhere in the home. Our summers and winters are extreme, so we want to put in as much insulation as we can into these walls. Along with the walls, we also insulated the headers. The headers are packed with rigid insulation. You can see them right here on top. After we finish all the framing, we started installing the zip panel all the way around. Now, zip panels do two things. One, they have a weather-resistant membrane that is put on the outside, that green that you see right there. The second is shear resistant so we are actually shearing the entire home all the way around from top to bottom now the wind here is extreme it is crazy i don't know if you can tell in the background but we have windmills back there so the shear is going to help with that a lot but more than shear the zip system really helps with making an envelope around your house now you put this all the way around your home you tape off every seam when you do that, that allows the home to be airtight. It works really good. And then the added benefit to that whole thing, because it is a waterproof membrane, is that it's weatherproof. So it's a two for one. These panels are also engineered to be stronger than a normal half inch panel. So you get additional strength there. Now, once we finish the walls, it's time to move on to the ceiling, the roof. We used 14 inch eye joists. Now these eye joists are 34 feet long, so they overhang each side by two feet. And you can see right here in that picture, there's a little bit of shade. So on the heat of the day, they'll be able to give us lots of shade to help cool down the home and keep it efficient. Now, even though they were 34 feet long, they were so easy to handle we just threw them up in a pile on the one side and then just drug them over with the two by four. So pretty easy to handle. It was a great product. Now to secure these to the top of the wall, we use GRK six inch lag screws to go all the way through the top of this wall, both plates. Now back to the wind again, that allows this to be one piece from the eye joist to the wall, through the shear, down to the bottom plate, to the bolts, into the concrete. Another added benefit is these things are super consistent, super straight. So our roof is out of control, straight, flat, makes it easy to install the sheeting up there. Now the downfall to this is the cost. I believe this is more than if you had an engineer trust built. I don't know that for a fact, but I know we spent a lot on these. Another thing we did was we put the eye joist directly on top of the stud below. That way we're transferring the weight directly down to the concrete. Now to my right, you'll see three studs packed together. That is a wall pack. That's where the next wall, the next interior wall will be. And behind that, we also did put in insulation. We packed it full of insulation with rigid insulation. So it'll be super efficient. Now, when you're building in the middle of nowhere, sometimes you just have to figure out how to get things done. So I'm taking my sheeting and I'm walking it around over here to the front of the garage where it's the lowest, jump it on top of the truck to throw the sheeting on top just to make do. Now you'll notice the rafter tails that are exposed right there. We ordered up rim joists to go all the way around the outside of the home. It does a couple of things. It stops the I-beams from twisting and it gives us a spot for our fascia. So we are doing roofing. We're trying to put this roof on quick, you know. It's just me and Richard here putting on the roof, so he's just throwing up the plywood all at once. So when we go up to the top of the roof, we can start nailing the roof down. That's the game plan. 
All right, so that's how the house. There's our solar panels. There's Miss Chloe. She got her little pink jacket on. There's our toy hauler. There's our 2,500 gallon water tank. And that's the tiny mansion. And we are working on the roof today. That's the game plan. Now all that's left is lay out all the zip sheeting, nail it down, and we're getting close to being finished here. Now, I, one thing I will say is that the zip sheeting has a little tab on the edge that spaces it away from each other for swelling. And man, that works great. I can't say enough about this stuff. It works wonderful. Now I would say the downfall is the cost, but in reality, the cost is really offset by the time you save. You don't have to wrap the home. It also is waterproof. And then when you put the tape on, as you can see right here, it basically is weatherproof. I mean, it, they say you can leave it out for 120 days. Now, if you covered this with tar paper or wrapped your house with house wrap, there is no way it's lasting 128 days. So then the last little thing I would say is the fact that it's just airtight. And if you know anything about efficiency, homes that they really stress these days to make sure everything's airtight so we taped the whole home and it's just even now without air conditioning in it it is really nice and there's no insulation in it. now if you like our content please do us a favor comment like and subscribe down below we'll check you next time thanks